Hello everyone, my name is Nitish Pujari and I am a drone tinkerer at Drona Aviation and today the project that we are going to work on is obstacle avoidance integrated on Pluto drone. So the sensor that we are going to use today will be the IR sensor which is called the infrared sensor and it works on a basic digital logic. So when there is an obstacle in front of it, it gives a value of zero and when there is nothing in front of it around in the range of 3 meters to 4 meters it gives a value 1. So what we are going to do is we are going to attach this on the Pluto and we are going to see if there is any um, obstacle on the frontal side of the drone. So if there is any obstacle detected we are going to give it a command called pitch back and which is going to be around PWM 1000. Uh, the value would be 1000 which would make it go back like this and once the obstacle is has been avoided the Pluto will again start taking commands from the RC directly given by the user. So we'll continue this project by starting uh, or by pressing new project on this Pluto block software and so initially we'll take a logic if and do. So I'll explain it on the go that why we are using this. So because as I explained before, when we use the IR sensor and when there is an obstacle in front of it, it gives a value zero. And when we remove the obstacle in front of it, the values given by the IR sensor will be one. So because we need to give pitch backwards when there is an obstacle, we will need to give the pitch command when the values given by the IR sensor would be zero. So first we need to use a NOT command over here after which we need to go to the GPI pin. So GPIO is basically general purpose input output pins and the pin that we are going to use is pin number 10 which is in the front direction below the ESP on the Pluto X drone and we are going to connect the IR sensor over there by using the jumper wires. So like I said previously, this will be the pin number 10 GPIO pin that we are going to be using by inserting this pin over here. So the the wire to the extreme left of the heading of the drone will be the power which is the VCC. So you can see over here ki the VCC pin over uh, is being marked on the IR sensor. So you need to attach the power pin to the VCC. And the wire to the rightmost extreme of this drone, drone's heading will be the ground which needs to be attached on the center where you can see there is ground being written on the center pin and this will be finally the out pin which will give us the value 0 or 1 as sensed by the IR sensor. After this we need to mount this on the drone by just plugging this in on the pillar 1 and pillar 2 and this is how you finish mounting the IR sensor you just have to attach the canopy, canopy later on and you are done with the mounting. So because uh, the value that would be given by the IR sensor would be 0 we have kept a NOT command prior to the read command so only here we need to change it to 10 read 10. So when read 10 would be 0, what do we want the drone to do? We want it to pitch back, which is why we go to command, uh, sorry, not command. We go to remote control. We need to set pitch 1000. So this 1000 is basically a PWM value. So the range that the PWM value we have in our Pluto blocks is from 1000 to 2000 and 1500 is the neutral value. So at 1500 the drone stays like this. 
and this is the front direction of the drone. So when it is above 1500, it goes ahead and when it is below 1500, it goes back. So when we give uh, set pitch 1000, it means that we want the drone to move backwards. Now, when the obstacle has been avoided, when we have given the pitch command and the obstacle is not in the vicinity of the drone, we want it again to take the values from the user that is through the RC, which is our remote control. So we need to go over here and attach an else over here. So else remote control set pitch, but this time pitch given from the RC. So directly attach the RC pitch over here. After this, press on build. We have to wait for 5 to 10 seconds for the project to build. So the project has been built successfully. And after this, you need to connect your laptop to your drone's Wi-Fi and then flash the code into this drone. And when you will start flying your drone, you need to press the developer mode and try taking it towards an object. You'll notice when there would be an object detected, the drone would pitch backwards and again after that it will take the values you give to it. When you will switch on the drone, you can notice that there is a green light on the IR sensor, which means now the circuit is giving value 1. And when I bring an obstacle in front of it, the other light switches on, which means now the value that the IR sensor is giving is 0. This is when the command will be given uh, as the drone is not armed right now. It is not going moving backwards, but when it would be flying, this is the very time when the drone will pitch backwards. So when I see when I remove my hands again, there is only one LED and it start give, starts giving the value 1, 0, 1, 0. So guys, thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you had something new to learn today and enjoyed the video. So be open to experiment, keep tinkering, keep flying.